everybody, I'm Thora Guthrie, director of the Rancho Santa Fe Garden Club. And I'm Katie Fish, and I'm on the Garden Club board. I also volunteer for a charity called the Assistance League, and we have a, a thrift shop in Encinitas called Fabulous Finds, and that's where some of these pieces came from today. And we also have a thrift store, it's called Bloom Again in Rancho Santa Fe. So those resale shops are what inspired this project, um, plus we're a garden club, so we've made garden art basically with repurposed pieces of glass that you might find in our shop. Um, sustainability is really important to a lot of our customers, so we thought it was a really good project. Okay, I'd like to show you um, a few things that we put together. And this was my first project, so I love it. I just found this beautiful glass that has um, pink edges. I took a bowl and glued that on, and then I found this um, candlestick holder, and it just fit in there, glued it on, and that's how the back of it looks, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. Another one that was so simple, but it came out, I think, really lovely, is this is a vase. I found a dish that fit on the bottom of the vase, glued them together, and this goes in my garden. But it has a nice deep well in here, Thora. What do you think? I would say a bird feeder. Put some bird seed in here. Okay. Or, bir or some water. Water, and the birds can enjoy it as well. Right. So that goes in my garden. One other piece that I just want to share with you is one that doesn't go in my garden. It's in my outside courtyard on a table. And this, again, is a candlestick holder. I found this beautiful colored ball that fits in there. And then just as the topper, we have the American Eagle um, to sort of set it off. So I that's what I found fun to do in my garden. I love that piece. Um, I wanted to show you a couple pieces that I created. Um, this is created from a green glass that's kind of a flower shape. And I glued this one ceramic plate on top of it, let it sit, you need to set, let it sit for a long time, um, overnight preferably. Then I added the saucer, creating this flower. And what I do is I create um, a, a mobile piece that you can take on and off of your stem by gluing a um, shot glass onto the back. And so that fits onto your rod like this. So there, in your garden. And here's another piece that I created with a glass dish and a little egg cup that I found. And again, I glued a little shot glass onto the back of this. Yeah, we just want to go over the materials that you're going to need, and they're so simple, it's easy. A Home Depot shopping trip. This is Gorilla Glue, which is what I use. It's um, clear, it's indoor, outdoor, and it's weatherproof and waterproof. So this is a good place to start. In the beginning, I just glued it on the back, but um, then I found I couldn't get it in the ground. So... I got my copper tube, and this is from Home Depot as well. But then took a rebar, which is easy to pound in the ground, and then your garden art, just slip it over, and it's in the garden, and it can be moved. So let's see what happens with yours. And then, there you go, oh. sunflower. <laughs> Yay. Okay. So, other things you could put together for the garden, uh, a piece of glass, a plate, a bowl, a vase upside down, create a totem in your yard. The, the possibilities are endless. You can keep on going and, and it brings color and life to your garden and they should last for years. So enjoy these projects. Oh, there's also, um, if you have too much of this clear glass and you want more color, like we have a lot of colored pieces, they make a glass paint that you can actually paint the glass, make it as colorful as you want, paint a design, let it sit, and then you bake it in the oven for about 40 minutes to make it impervious and work great for the outside. So I just, I hope you enjoy, do your own projects like this, get as creative as you want, and um, just have a lot of fun with it like we did. And don't forget, if you make one of these beautiful pieces from some recycled glass or plates, please send Thora a picture so that we can either publish it in the monthly garden newsletter or put it online. We'd love it. We'd love to see what you come up with. Thank you. So have fun.